Hi, and welcome to the AMPCO blog on YouTube. Today, we're going to continue working on our tab bar application. We're going to do something just a little bit different. But to get the code that we're going to be starting with, you can go to www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash hello world tab 6 dot zip. And that'll give you what I'm about to pull up here, a starting point. Okay, now I was getting ready to do the tutorial about passing data from one tab to another and I ran the app and I decided I didn't like some things. I didn't like the color of the navigation bar up here or the segmented control. I didn't like the color of our search bar here or our navigation bar here or the navigation bar here or I haven't titled this view. I don't like mixing my green view with our blue tab. Okay, that doesn't seem right to me. So we're going to fix all that today. And in the meantime, we're also going to work on customizing this label in this table row. So that'll be another thing. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is change the color of all those navigation bars. So we open up the main window nib file and Go down here to tab bar controller, expand it, and here's our red tab. We want to expand that, select navigation bar, and intent, we're going to make that black. Okay, now let's select our segmented control, and let's make that black also. Now, let's expand the green tab, select its navigation bar, and this time I'm going to make that navigation bar green to match its color scheme. And then finally our blue tab, select this navigation bar and we'll make its tab blue or its navigation bar blue. Okay that's it for our main window nib. Now that search bar and our red view is in the red view nib file. You can see it's right here. So if we select it, find tent, and make it black. Just like that. Okay now before I do anything else, I also didn't like the fact that I had never really titled our blue view. So I'm going to open up that implementation file and go under view did load and we're going to title this view blue. All right, let's go ahead and run and see what we have so far. Okay, in our red view we changed the navigation bar and the segmented controls to be black and we changed the search bar to be black. Looks better I think. In our green view we changed the navigation bar to be green and in our blue view we changed it to be blue. Now, oh, we also changed the title, so now that it says blue in the title. Now, the last thing that I don't like about this is in our table row here, it says green view 2, and then we go to a green view while we're on the blue tab. So we're going to create a new blue view, and then we're going to customize the look of the label here in this table view cell, and have it match our blue um, color scheme a little bit better. So the first thing we need to do is create a blue nib file, like that. We're going to name it blue view 2 and then of course we have to create a view controller for that and then it's going to be a view controller subclass that we'll name blue view 2 controller. Okay, we have to link those up. So let's open up BlueView2 nib file, select files owner, go to our identity inspector and make that BlueView2 controller for our class and then link up our views and then finally I want to change the background of this view to be blue, just like that. Okay now in order to push that view into place that happens in our blue view controller and to start off we have to go to the header file and everywhere here where we're doing the green view 2 controller it needs to be blue because we're going to push it instead of this green 
because it didn't really make sense to push the green when we're in a blue tab. Not that it really matters, but I figured it'd be fun to change it. Okay, that's it for the header file. Go to the implementation file, and we're going to change it where we synthesized it, and change the import. And then finally, down here in the did select row at index path where we're pushing in the new view, we need to change that to be the blue view to controller. Just like this. And of course, we'll change the name of the nib to the blue view too. All right, that's it. Take care of it. Let's run it and see what happens. Blue view. Oh, and we're pushing in our blue view. So now, no more green in our blue tab. Except our label here. It's kind of silly for it to say green view 2. It needs to say blue view 2. And while we're changing it, we're also going to customize the color and the font of that label. So that should be interesting. So we go back to our blue view controller implementation file and find our cell for row at index path method. And here, where we'll do the customization. And what we do is we create a new UI label and we're going to name it cell label. And we need to allocate and then init with frame and it's going to be the cell frame. And then we're just going to auto-release this so that it takes care of the memory management for us. Now we can set the text in our cell label. And it's just going to be blue view 2. And then let's set the color of that text. There's a... That's right. First we're going to set the font. Let's go ahead and set the font. Um, so you use a set font method and create a UI font and font with name and let's do something kind of fun like Zafino and we'll just make it 14 point. Close those up and now let's do the color of it. Text color and we're just going to use one of the built-in colors, one of the built-in UI colors. Um, which will be blue color. Okay, and finally, in order to get that to show up, we have to get the cell and the content view of the cell. And we're going to add a sub view, and that sub view will be the cell label. Just like that. We can go ahead and delete this line because it's not needed anymore. Alright, if I did everything correctly, we should be done. Put our blue view, and there you go customize our label in the table cell. Made it blue and changed the font of it. We select it and it goes to the blue view. So now our app, at least to me, looks a lot better. I mean, you know, as far as what we're doing. Very simple stuff, but at least the color scheme all matches. Okay, that's all we're going to do for today. Thanks for joining me, and as always, please come visit me at theappcodeblog.com where you find Lots of great tutorials, and until next time, have a great day.